Hey Aquarius, how you doing? It's your Ruth. Welcome back to another series. Aquarius, <clears throat> can we talk for a minute? I just want to talk about some things. I know you humanitarian sign, so maybe you might get... I have Aquarius and Saturn, so... You know Capricorn's bitch to lie to, so whatever. <laughs> but... People... I don't know. It's like the dumb stuff they do. I know everybody do stuff, dumb stuff, don't get me wrong. But it's certain things that you don't do. Okay, one, one instance, okay. Say, for instance, you order some food from DoorDash or whoever. And the place is order some groceries. And first off, they take it a long time. Then they say they dropped it off and they didn't drop your food off. Or they drop it off at somebody else's house. You know, stuff like that is like, why would you do that to somebody? Then you got somebody, I know, I remember one of the readers was talking about it too. You make grocery. And they don't bring your grocery, your grocery or they bring you one bag. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like... It's, I mean, I, I know they keep saying, and it probably is not everybody, it's not a lot of people, but I think these are actually people. They're not robots. They're not empty seaters. I think these are people doing this, you know, because uh, it's like, how can you do this to people? I, you know, I understand. One other lady, she said uh, she don't even bother with the, the uh, Uber and all of that because... You don't know who you hiring and we all know you can make up resumes you can make up ids you can make up all kind of stuff so she said she doing limousine she'd rather play pay extra because uh at least they on payroll you know they're you know they have a higher standard of you can find out who it is that messing with you of course somebody can knock that person out blah 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 but, you know, it's more secure. But I'm just thinking, I'm like, you want to help everybody. You want to help people. You want to get them on their right path. You're thinking about stuff to cure them and stuff like that. And they keep doing dumb shit. You know, that's, that's just a few little examples. It's like, you know, our daughter went to this place to order something tonight. She told the girl exactly what she wanted. The girl repeated it. Why she forgot the main meal? We walking out the door thinking everything's cool. She repeated it back to my daughter and she don't put it in there. Crazy shit. Now when I used to date and go out on dates and, and I used to order my food or my drink or whatever or my friend order food or drink. Why they bring only his and not mine? You see what I'm saying? This, this kind of stuff, you know. And then, I have some beautiful daughters. I think they're very beautiful, okay? I have beautiful nieces, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful nephews, you know, whatever. So, I don't like talking to nobody when I'm, when I'm with all of them because I don't know if you're trying to get to me in order to get to them. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't like doing that. But, it's like... Why are you playing with me? I, I beginning to, I'm beginning to like the way the mafia, the old mafia style was. You know what I'm saying? I'm beginning to like, you know, the loyalty and uh, the honesty that they had. I'm beginning to really like that. I've been listening to a lot of that lately. It's like, people don't be knowing who they be fucking with. And then, you know, they think because you're quiet and you care, you know, and you, you mind your own business and you try to do stuff nice, you know, which is good to do. But people really do take your kindness for weakness and they really do think you're stupid. And then when you go off into a whole nother type of person, then they wondering why I'll call you crazy or, you know what I'm saying, if you separate yourself from people. And 
you know, you come into your, you're trying to find out who you are. You know what I'm saying? You're on your own journey without people, all of, all the of control and, you know, stuff from childhood on up has been trying to tell you you are. And you just start noticing things and noticing people and you be like, <laughs> You question a lot of stuff, but you try to go ahead on and do your, your destiny, your path, you know, your mission, you hear, but it's, everything is questionable. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that, Aquarius. I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave it like that because, uh, wow, it's a lot. It's the most stirring, but we're going to leave it alone, Aquarius. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of them yourself. You can tell me about it. I don't know. He will be doing some stuff. Oh, sorry. Your first card is buy some healthy foods, be creative, make something this week. Your family, friends, or your family, friends, and neighbors, uh, uh, and others. Okay, so that's a humanitarian act. Okay, for yourself, yeah, eat healthy. Find out all kind of ways to eat healthy. You know, make sure. My mom said, if you don't use the restroom after the second day, make sure you take something that second day. And uh, be creative, bring your creativity out, you know, family, friends, your kids. But it's like others, they are not satisfied. You know, blood clots, mucus. So if you have any blood, matter of fact, wait a minute, I had, uh, I had something you could start off with. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I found the, uh, <clears throat> magnolia tree and it helps with uh, uh, dry dryness headache nausea vomiting don't take with sedatives benetria and, and otherwise don't use uh, any man-made medications if you're going to use mother nature's that's vitamin d calcium probiotics that's all it has in it um, slows blood clots but if you're taking blood thinners like i say you can't take both you have to take Mother Nature or for menstrual uh, women found consuming this 12 weeks and 12 weeks help with insomnia, irritable, irritability, and anxiety. Uh, use it as an aromatherapy for tension, mind, both mind and body, stuff like that. It'll help out on that. Um, so yeah, that's one I found. And for the mucus also, you can, uh, that's what I'm called. Chickweeds, they yeah, always grow outside. It's free. Okay, make a saliva born for irritated skin, rashes, acne, bug bites, stings, burns, ex ex eczema, wounds, warts, reduced sweating, bruises, varicose brains, shingles, hemorrhoids, um, cough, cough, congestion, upset stomach, con cleanse liver, bladder, kidney, joint pain, arthritis, supper. So, you know, it has vitamin D, C, D, B complex, calcium, iron, potassium, magnesium, zinc, beta carotene, biotin, PABA. So, yeah, <clears throat> it'll help with the mucus and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Uh oh, what is the cause? Okay. Then you got gout, so slow down. If you're drinking, the drinking makes it worse. And um, sugar, any sugar would mess with it also or maybe soak your feet take a spiritual bath stuff like that you know but it's like when you tell people just a little more time when when i've noticed through years when you're telling people that stuff is outside uh, uh that that can cure yourself they still rather go to a doctor you know they still rather go someone else I don't when you can well I guess some people just lazy I just have to you know instead of finding out stuff for yourself and I was complaining about you know you don't know what's in stuff how you gonna find out they sell um what they call it microscopes all the time you know they got so many things you can use in your house I mean that you can buy and experiment in your house to see what's going on you know, I don't know, Aquarius. I'm just running my mouth. <laughs> Nine of Wands, undecided, need to take a step out of the situation. Then you will see more clearly. See what I'm saying? So, 
That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, I don't know if you're in that same mode or I'm in. Trying to take a step back and see what am I doing? Why am I helping? Okay. So I'm looking at everything. So are you looking at everything? Let's see, second deacon sad. Let's let's see. Let's read. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, you know. I just, I don't know. Let's see. Second de deacon says, the second deacon of Sagittarius is ruled by Mars. And it's an Aries deacon. These people may be accident prone, as Sagittarius in general tends to gallop everywhere. Combined with head first energy of Mars, they may not always look where they are going. They're constantly challenging themselves and are usually completely open and honest. These people need action and movement. Okay, see, they galloping. These people in general, accident prone, not watching where they're going, not taking your advice till it blow up in your face or they're on their deathbed. And that had happened to me so many times with different people. And I've been trying to say through the years, you know, little by little, changing yourself, but they get on their deathbed and then I still trying, I'm still trying to help, you know, and then I'm, I'm optimistic about it, but they're, they're not, they are and they're not, and still I'm believing, and you know what I'm saying, it's like, I don't know, I don't know if they get it, I really don't, you got a hangman upside down, it's saying, uh, Neptune and water. Getting stronger in oneself after a lot of deliberating and delaying in your life. So it seems like they're not getting stronger, Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this pertaining to you personally or are you talking about you, but it seems like they're getting worse or they're fearful. They're not watching, not, they're not coming together as you know, and, and realize, okay, we're really getting messed with. They're really trying to take us out. You know what I'm saying? Getting little groups together and figuring out they just oh, okay, we'll go back to the mall. Okay, we'll go do auto takeout, which I don't eat. I don't I was speaking in first about people other people I don't auto take out. I don't do that. Um you know, and it's like they it's like you still trusting somebody that's trying to kill you. I don't I don't know. Let's see, um Third, three of Wands, travel over land, surveying your kingdom. Second Deacon Aries. Let's see what they're talking about. Okay. I don't trust that easy. Let's put it like that up here. Second Deacon Aries. The Second Deacon Aries is ruled by the sun and is the Leo Deacon. The sun and Leo bring a regal quality to these people who like to shine in the world and receive a lot of attention. The fixed quality of Leo brings a certain immovable quality to the leadership energy. Let me turn this down. I'm sorry, Claire. Uh, the fixed quality of Leo brings a certain immovable quality to the leadership energy of this deacon, meaning that they stick to their aims no matter what others want. This can be the energy of the pompous leader. Okay. So, they so busy about being like the Joneses and still looking at the material side of the world. I was listen, looking at Tesla. He died alone and broke. I think they said Ivan Ivan Einstein, whatever his name. I think he did as well. It's like all those humanitarians that tried to help people, and were still trying to help people till the day they died. Got no respect, no honor till they died. People stole their ideas. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 like what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to continue. I mean, that's what I came here signed up for, but I think we need to be cautious, Aquarius, okay? We need to think about ourselves first. Okay? And our families. You know? Travel overland, surveying the kingdom. Yeah, he looking over and he observing everything. It's like I'm talking about. Just like you're supposed to do, Aquarius. Because you're the humanitarian. Okay? Everything glitters, what? It's not gold. Look beyond the clouds, money improvements. If you try to tell people, 
There's a trap there. There's a trap there. Try this over here. Let's get together. I've been doing this preaching. You just don't know how long I've been preaching this. I've been doing it way back in the day before I had kids. I used to walk down the street and the creators would send me to the Black Panthers. You used to send me to the black businesses and talking and telling the black pampers, panthers it's time for you to go and watch the kids from school to make sure they're okay and nobody's kidnapping them and monitoring them to fighting, you know, and then going to the businesses and telling them about hiring younger kids so they won't be getting in trouble. And they telling me they tried it already. I said, no, you tried it with your kids. How about the other kids to keep the neighborhood going? I mean, you just don't know how much stuff I have did. And, you know, and people still don't get in a neighborhood died. It's dying. It's, it's like, you know, and then I, I found out so many things and thought I was hanging with people, being millionaires, that thought wanted to change the neighborhood, make a difference, and bring it back up. And all they wanted was the money that was in the system, the grant money that they accumulated from the people who died and lost their homes and stuff like that. And there's money they can get from that that nobody tells them about. When you lose something, you can get money from it. You can get almost all your money back from your home or your car or something like that. Nobody tell them. If you don't get it, it goes back into the system and it becomes grant money. You know, and it's like you're knowing all these things and you try to tell them and it's like, good or bad and they got an agenda you know what I'm saying you just let me see third deacon Scorpio let's read that uh, the third deacon Scorpio is ruled by the moon and it's a cancer deacon the nurturing and loving quality is the moon and cancer soften the intent intensity of the Scorpio considerably Though their receptive nature still wants to connect with others at a deeper emotional level, level, these people have great loyalty, but with a higher level of trust. That's us. True. Let me read that again. The third deacon of Scorpio is ruled by the moon and is the cancer deacon. The nurturing and the loving qualities of the moon and, the, and cancer soften the intensity of Scorpio considerably. Though their receptive through their receptive nature, though their receptive nature still wants to connect with others at, at a deeper emotional level, these people have great loyalty but with a higher level of trust. Boom. If, I, if you ain't loyal and I can't trust you, I will help you from afar because you'll try to destroy me. So be careful, Aquarius, as you do your stuff. Okay? Be careful how you do it and who you're telling it to, okay? Who's in your circle? Because uh, they ain't like it. They just they say it. It's like they, they don't care if they die or whatever. And then a lot of them you tell you can help them. And if they're getting a check, a social security check, they ain't going to let you... Uh, Stop them from getting that check. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, they didn't got, they programmed like a mug. Have you started that idea yet? Yeah, make sure you be very slick with that, with it, okay? Am, am, I'm an honest person, okay? They don't care about your honesty, but keep on being loyal, but just be like the mafia, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love should be easy. Wow. It was not reciprocated, like they say. Because I don't know what they looking at. They have been confusing me ever since I came here. I don't know. I could see everything clearly. How everything could be fixed. But I'm alone in it. You know what I'm saying? Are you afraid of the dark? Why? How? What happened? Is it from childhood or someone or something do it do it to you? No, I'm not afraid of the dark. Are you afraid of the dark, Aquarius? But I know different things are coming to you. Do you love yourself? Do you love yourself, Aquarius? Are you an unforgettable person? 
I think you are. Are you healed or ready for relationship? Those are questions you have to ask yourself. Okay. And people are not. They need to stop trying to get in relationship after relationship till they heal themselves. They're just making more sickness and disease, if not physically, mentally. Have you given your kids a hug, kiss, gift, praise today? I do it every day. How about you, Aquarius? You know, I'm going to read this one anyway. The order. Anywhere in your life. Order in your life. But it's like the order of things, how things should go. You see it clearly. But even if you have your circle of people, they're not going to see it the way you see it. So how do you get your point across these days? I think it was better back in the olden days. Well, now still mentioning Tesla and the rest of them. They had a hard time. They went on anyway. How about all the alchemists? Then they started using them to make the gold and to make things and threatening them if they didn't make it the way they they did or whatever, that they was, they was going to kill them. You know? You have to think about that as well. Going to Jeff. There you go, putting them in jail. Financial issues, just like self-centered. They were very self-centered, and they still like that today. These are children of those from long ago, all of us. We the ancestors, we the ancestors' children. Wealth and think will use me for my money. There it is, right there. I don't know, Chris. I just thought I can talk to you about it. Maybe you understand what I'm saying. <clears throat> Can you start over? Do that all the time. The, the, the one mafia man I listened to, he said every day he had a different routine. Nobody knew his routine every day. I'm just going to throw that out there. What's in chemtrails? How does it poison us, pets or other plants? And even that's going on. You, where are the people talking about that? Why in the world, why isn't the world making them stop that? Like I put on that one time on my Facebook um, to Trump. I said, okay, if you, I forgot what he was going to, he wanted to do. I can't remember what it was. But I was like, let's like, make an even trade. You want this, we want this. The people, you know, you stop at chemtrails and we give you this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you have something in your house that could be making strange things happen? Something you brought from from the uh, garage sale, thrift store, on a vacation. Someone gave to you maybe and planted in there. Be careful, uh, Aquarius. Check that out, okay? Make sure people be... They be doing something. They be on a whole nother thing. You know they be knowing who we are. Watch that movie, Bless the Child. They know who you are for when you're going to come in the world. You know? Oops, look at that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just be careful, Aquarius, okay? Because you still want to win out of the stuff that you know how to do. You know, I, I told my, I was telling my grandson about people being good in science and biology in school. How many kids they didn't kidnap? Okay. The snake. This card is almost the trickiest. It demands wisdom on the part of the person being read for, and may indicate deceit from someone close to them. It is entirely gu guided by the cards around it. Okay. The best advice with this card, if it falls near your personal card irregularity. It is, it is to remember that speech is silver, but silence is golden. So hold your tongue a while. Just some advice. Because you didn't you say it's somebody near to you. And that's what it's mostly going to be. People that you love and be around. Just going to turn you in or, or turn you out of. You know what I'm saying? Steal your stuff. It's always somebody you know. I, was, I did that last night when the child... Somebody adopted a child last night. I did the um, late night thing I had about that. It's always somebody you know. 
First chakra, base chakra, responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by constantly taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excess and overindulgence as I forgive myself for my past indiscretions. I know I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time. It says they allow others to depend on me being responsible. So they have to be responsible for themselves as well. Okay. All right, Aquarius, this is what I got for you. Sorry I vented with you, but I figured I can talk to the Aquarius. All right, would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope it helped in some type of way. It's your girl, Ruth, signing off. Until next time, love you, Aquarius. All right, bye.